Hello guys, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea, and today I'm going to be doing a love reading for the sign of Aries, of course. Um, but this is a general love reading. Um, if you guys have not checked out my other channel, The Secret Garden Tarot, please check that out. There will be a link in the description. And also, if you want to check out my Law of Attraction journey, that channel, it's just Chelsea J, will be in the description box as well. I hope you guys are doing well. If you watch the daily, then you know I have the sniffles, um, not the COVID sniffles, just the nasal, like <laughs> the um, um, a, a congestion, okay? Um, the more I talk, the more it kind of like gets worse again. So I really should be resting. I'm going to be doing a few more videos and then I'm going to call it quits. If you see me grab a peppermint, don't mind me. Okay. That's just what I need to do right now. I just want to get these readings out before I go rest for the rest of the day. See, I turned the AC off and everything because the, AC, the vent's right here and it's blowing on me. It's not making it any better. So I'm about to get hot. But, um... Yeah, so I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are feeling better. Um, I know I will get over this in no time, so don't worry about me. But let's go ahead and see what's going on in your love life. Okay. guys let me just make sure okay I have to make sure I was uploading to the right um channel <laughs> anyway so let's go ahead and see what's going on here holy spirit spirit guides and angels please help me deliver a clear message for Aries in love let's see what's going on in their love life I'm interested to see what's going on in y'all's love life because Mine is non-existent. So, what's going on, on in love? What is going on in love? I'm seeing a lot of love cards as I um, cut the deck. So, positive. What is going on in love? <clears throat> Just cleared up there. What's going on in love? All right. Okay. So maybe you guys might be like me. Let's see. So we have the Hermit card. Could you have, you could be dealing with a Virgo, but we have the Four of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you guys could have withdrawn communication from someone. Um, you could be ghosting someone. Somebody could be ghosting you. Um, I'm not really sure if this is in a like a harsh kind of way. This could be you just wanting to get your life together and recenter your focus. Sometimes we all just need a little bit of me time. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. We have to be the best versions of ourselves in order to be the best, you know, the best version to someone else. So there is love here. The Knight of Cups. It's in the challenge position. Okay. So could you be preventing this from coming into you? Um, into you? <laughs> to you? Is there someone who is trying to get to you to communicate, to invite you out on a date? Um, the Knight of Cups is a very romantic energy. Um, there's nothing wrong with this energy. The Knight of Wands is sometimes very passionate, very in and out, just looking for one thing. But the Knight of Cups alone can be also very um, in and out energy, but they come in to kind of like love bomb you, you know, tell you what you want to hear, tell you you're pretty, and then they disappear until they're ready. So maybe you could be dealing with somebody who has done that to you, or you. this is you taking your power back after they have done that to you, or you're doing that to them, okay? Let's see. What is... What are you focused on or what does spirit want you to focus on here? What is it? Oh, there's a card. The temperance tried to come out and what is this? Okay, the 10 of wands. Yeah, I feel like you guys cut somebody off. Um, the, the, the color keeps changing. You guys cut somebody off. Um, 
yeah, you could be ghosting this person. This could be somebody coming back from your past that you've already ended it with, with the Ten of Wands. I feel like this was a very long, difficult situation, long, difficult relationship, and you've just about given up on it. You have given up on it with the Ten of Wands. Um, the Nine of Wands is really like trying to stay in it and persevere and trying to make it work. But the Ten of Wands is like, this is just too heavy of a burden for me, and I'm letting this all go because it's not worth it. But the Ten of Wands to me, it's like, yeah, we've been in this for a long time. But when I see the 10, the 10 of Pentacles is more of a solid relationship where this is was actually like a real relationship. The 10 of Wands to me is like there was a lot of passion. There was a lot of fighting. There was a lot of arguing. There was some good times, you know, don't get me wrong. But I feel like one person did more work than the other person. And that's probably why you are have withdrawn to really heal yourself here. Because we have the Four of Cups here. Um, this is somebody trying to give you an offer like this cup this nine of cups is trying to bring in an offer and if you see her shirt she says over it so that's the energy that i'm feeling here somebody's trying to come back in from your past but you know your worth here this person didn't bring nothing but illusions um to your situation they confused you you didn't know what was real it was a mess okay so yeah let's keep it moving here All right. So, like I said, in the past, I feel like you've learned your worth. There could be a new offer around you. There could be somebody else here um, who has recently offered you something way more real than what this person could offer you. A real solid commitment. And I think that's why you're withdrawing from this person. Or you feel like this, you're, you've become aware that there's something new that is coming in for you. And it's better than what this person had to offer. Okay. Real love, because I see the King of Cups at the bottom. So, um, what is crowning you? What is crowning the heirs in this relationship? Okay, this is you, male or female. This is you. You're taking your power back. Um, seeing this now, I know I have a feeling that this person really did a number on you and really abandoned you. Hold on a second. Close your door, hon. Sorry, it's my child. Um, you hear the cartoons in the back. But this is you feeling powerful. You know what you want. You may have been confused in the past, but you're not confused anymore. Um, you're not taking any slack from anybody. This is a lot of passion. This could be another fire sign that is coming in who has um, stirred your fancy, okay? We have the strength card here as well. This is you having self-control, self waiting on this new offer to come in, okay? Let's see what's coming in the future here for the Aries. Ooh, what's coming in the future? Ooh, oh, a lot of cards here. Oh, that's way too many cards. <clears throat> what's coming in the future for the Aries? All right. Wow. Okay. So this came in what you're focused on in the daily read and now this is coming in the future so what you think about you bring about so if you guys are focused on you know a higher level commitment it's coming so this is in the future position this person here i feel like this is a different energy this person used to just come in maybe it was mute not i mean i don't know i don't want to say mutually beneficial you know maybe it was just a sex thing okay and it started out as sex and then it turned into a consistent sex thing because i don't want to see say they brought anything to the table i felt like they didn't really bring anything to the table but sex um, and it just got, so then you started dealing with emotions and it was like, every time you were left with these emotions, this person would just flee. Okay. To go do their own thing again. I feel like really in the past you have been healing and you've really learned your worth. And now you're like holding out with the hermit card here. You're holding out and waiting for something real to come in. You don't mind being alone right now, you know, especially when you know your worth there's no reason, there's nothing, you know what I'm saying? There's, what's the big deal? Some people, there's people out there who can't be single. And I feel like it's because they don't know who they are. They don't really know who their own identity is. And the only identity they find is within a relationship. Um, the most beautiful relationships are when two whole people come together. Okay. You don't need to find your identity within someone else. So anyways, that was a mouthful. 
Um, yeah, so this is the higher fit here. This is a higher commitment coming towards you. Marriage, somebody is ready to like this person that's coming towards you could be this king of wands. When they see you, they're going to be like, this is it. Okay. Like there's no question about it. There's no, they might take their time. You know, you guys might make this relationship grow and develop, which is nothing wrong with that. But when they see you, they're going to know this is the person that I want to marry. And I feel like you're going to know that as well. Okay. You're definitely walking away from that old stuff. So what's in your emotions? Oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh my God. I'm so happy for you guys. Cause this is not me. <laughs> um, we have the queen of wands. So we have the queen of wands now and we have the king of wands. So this is the divine partnership on the table. This is, this is your match. This is this is it, guys. This is what you've been waiting for. So if you are in a period of really being alone and holding back, um, enjoy that time right now because I feel like this is about to be the last moments of your life that you're really going to be alone, okay? Um, embrace it, okay? Be happy while you're single because you're not going to be single too much longer. And it's just really, I got goosebumps. Like, this is really nice. Um so it's like in your emotions, you're feeling like yourself. You're getting your mojo back. You're getting your confidence back. Um, you know who you are. You know you're beautiful. You know you're vibrant. And this person knows that as well, okay? Let me see this. He's looking at you, and you don't even need to look. You're kind of like giving him the side smirk, but you don't need to look at him because you know you're sexy. You know you're fine, girl. It, it, they're both here, okay? It could be girl, girl. It could be boy, boy. You know, but it's two divine counterparts, okay? And you guys know that, it's like I said, I felt it with the Hierophant before I even saw the Queen of Wands. When you meet, you're just going to know. There's not even going to be a, a sense of needing to rush this. Things might move quickly because you, you know, but I feel like there's going to be a sense of taking your time with this because you guys know neither one of you are going anywhere. And at the bottom of the deck, look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that, the sun and the ten of cups. This is like your happily ever after is on its way. This is so nice, okay. What's in the environment? All right, so you could be receiving communication really soon. I have a feeling it's from this king of wands. Um, they could be around you. This could be manifestation that you are bringing into you. You could be visualizing this person. If you've never met them before, you could be actively visualizing your soulmate coming in. So I feel like they are coming, right? The universe is bringing them to you. And this is growth. This is fast communication. But when you see the leaves on here, this is something coming in that's going to grow and flourish and just be everything you're hoping for. I feel like also this past person could be around you as well. Um, so they might not like the idea of you moving on. So just be ready for that. And I feel like that's why that is in the challenge position today, this Knight of Cups here. When this King of Wands comes in, it's almost like instinctively, this Knight of Cups is gonna come back just to try you again. I, they're not. They're still not gonna want anything real because they're showing up as a Knight of Cups. Um, they're not showing up as a King, but they're gonna come in to kind of try you and tempt you and test you. So be wary of that. All right. Yeah. So you're manifesting. You're hoping that you're going to get what you want. You've been manifesting. And I feel like you are. And that's just period. I mean, there's nothing more else to say to that. The magician is literally using the tools that you have to get what you want. And you will. And so what's the outcome here? All right. So the outcome here in this situation is the devil. With all these wands here, this is like sexy time to me, okay? Like there's going to be a really deep um, connection. The only thing with the devil is, because it could be a real sexual card, the only thing with the devil is why it comes out as the devil is because it's almost an energy of like the sex could be so good that 
you have to be careful. You know what I'm saying? If this, if this is good sex with the wrong person, it leaves you into those situations where it's toxic. But if you're with somebody who is your divine counter, counterpart, there's just a lot of passion in between you, okay? And you're going to feel really connected on a soul level because we have the six of wands here. This is victory, okay? This is passion. This is more passion. Um, this person, I feel like, is going to come in abruptly. It's going to be... Um, very shocking. It's going to catch you off guard, but it's the emperor here. They're coming in without notice. Yeah. And when we have the king of cups under here, it's a lot of, it's a loving energy, but I'm going to go ahead and clarify. Okay. So we got the six of wands at the bottom of the deck for that. There could be some sort of soul connection here. I'm not like, I could say like, Oh, the devil could be the past person coming in, you know, somebody who you may have had a very strong, also a strong sexual connection with could be, but we'll see and clarify. Cause like I said, when, um, they see you moving on to this new person, they're not going to like it and they're going to want to come back in and try to pull your energy back into them. See what the hermit is. Yeah, right now you guys are working on yourselves. You're not focusing on any in, outside um, anything right now. You are literally working on yourself. You're getting yourself together so you could be ready for this new relationship to come in. And that's perfect. Okay. I wish more people would work on themselves before something new came in because then maybe it would last. What is the Knight of Cups? What is the Knight of Cups? Mm -hmm. This person wants you. They can't get you off of their mind. They're reminiscing. This person, oh my goodness, is in so much pain. You may not have seen them recently. You may not have heard anything from them, but they are still up at night thinking about you, thinking about how they lost their soulmate. They're thinking about how they messed up. They're thinking about how they lied to you, how they cheated on you, how they manipulated you and everything they did to you. They are feeling so strongly right now and it's they can't bear it. They cannot take it. That's why this person is coming in. They see you. They want you again. Okay. What is the uh, Ten of Wands here? Yeah, you know your worth. You put an end to this because there was something way more solid out there. You know your worth. You, you know your worth. You know your worth. Okay, that's why you put an end to this. Okay, you had way more to offer. You are showing up as a king and queen in this reading. And this other person, the old person, is showing up as a knight. Okay. Yeah, they just wanted to come in and have passion with you. What is the um, Ace of Pentacles? The healing, knowing your worth and healing. Okay, yeah. You made a decision to move on here with the Ace of Pentacles to move on to something new. This is your energy. You, you, you learned your worth and you decided to move on in a new direction away from this person who just was... It's like an energy of a vampire. That's all they were doing was sucking you dry. And you finally said enough is enough. And you cut that off. Okay. Let's see who this sexy king of wands is. Okay. Yeah. This is somebody who is coming towards you. And they are going to balance you out. They are going to give good gifts. And they're going to know how to receive good gifts. Part of giving is receiving um, that is a word right there. Okay. Let me just say that real quick. If you were in a relationship with a narcissist or someone like that in the past, those kind of dynamics, usually they're codependent relationships. There's a giver and there's a taker. Um, yes, we would love to blame the taker all the time, but you have to know in order for them to take, you have to give. And sometimes we, because I'm be in the same situation sometimes too, I give too much. Um, 
And then I'm like, why is this person always taking? Because I'm always giving. Um, a healthy relationship is give and take. And that's the six of pentacles, giving and receiving. Um, balance, okay? And I feel like this person is going to bring balance into your life. And they're coming towards you. And they're coming quickly, okay? They they have you on their brain just like you have them on your brain. And you could not even know who this person is. But you guys know that you're ready for something new now because you've healed from this old situation. Let's see. What is the hair food? Oh, a lot of cards. Let me see. I don't think I'm going to take these. There's too many. But it's definitely saying that you guys are getting a higher level of commitment. You know your worth. Again, let me see the higher food. There it is. It won't want to fall. All right. Yeah. Marriage. Someone's getting married. I mean, that somebody is getting married. That's as clear as day. Okay. Um, there's the fire as well. Stability. Four of Wands. Twin Flame. However you want to say it. You're about to meet your divine partner. And it's going to lead to a higher level of commitment. You're probably going to be meeting another fire sign because there's buku fire y'all are both, both out here on the table this is going to be your soulmate okay or somebody from the past is going to be very pissed too yeah okay so let's see the queen of wands Ooh. for sure wow yes honey i don't know who i'm speaking out i don't know who i'm speaking to out there but Y'all are on fire, okay? You are like, I'm surprised the Empress card hasn't come out because that's how I'm feeling. Your energy is just on fleek, okay? There is nothing sexier than somebody who knows their worth and their full potential. And somebody sees you and they see you as like hitting the jackpot. When they look at you, they say like, this is somebody worth investing in. And you feel the same way about yourself and I feel like you're gonna feel the same way about this person. What is this communication coming in? This Eight of Wands. <laughs> I don't know. Like somebody, is somebody about to get proposed to? Like today? I mean, that's what it feels like. Like somebody is coming in to propose. Like when they see you. It's like almost like, oh my gosh, you are the person I've been seeing in my dreams. Let's go get married tomorrow. Because that's what this feels like. It's a, either a Taurus is coming towards you or this is somebody who just sees you and immediately there's like immense passion and they just want to commit. Like, I feel like in the past you've been dealing with bozos and clowns and spinning your wheels and then it's like all of a sudden something just changes. And this person that comes in is this like we don't even need to date like i know you are who i want to be with we have the king cups under here somebody has a lot of it's gonna have a lot of love for you and uh did you manifest this all right yeah you've been manifesting something and it's taken a little while to get here but i really feel like it's coming in now this person is coming in to offer you a solid stable commitment there you're not gonna have to question their motives Let's see what this devil is. What is this devil card? Could be that person coming in trying to give you an apology. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's exactly what it is. You're gonna get. You're gonna get the happily ever after. So you don't even have to worry about that. I'm gonna clarify one more time. You're gonna get your happily ever after. There's that's this is fate. But somebody is about to try to take a risk. Mm -hmm. Yes, enough. I don't need to see anymore. Uh, somebody is about to take a risk and come towards you. Somebody from the past here with the Six of Cups. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio because um, I keep seeing the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck, but it never came out. So they're still a Knight of Cups. But this is somebody from the past who felt like you were their soulmate and they can't let go with the devil energy. They are strongly connected to you. They are going to take a risk with this full card um and come towards you and express their love to you and tell you that they want to work on things again and they want you back 
but it's the nine of swords here and the ten of swords again they keep showing up together this cycle is over look at that yeah it, it's just it's over we got the eight of cups here the we the wheel this is when the cycle has ended you know good karma is coming in for you the old is going out with the eight of cups the seven of wands this is your energy defending yourself fighting it off saying you had your chance i don't want to do this anymore this person kept you up at night this person really had you in your feelings this person really like this is not this combo right here is not to be taken lightly okay people say, oh it's anxiety oh it's when you see the nine of swords and the ten of swords somebody put you through hell okay somebody cheated on you repeatedly you know what I'm saying? Like it's this is like the worst case scenario that you can think of. You know what I'm saying? Somebody really tricked you. They did a number on you. And to whoever I'm speaking to, I am so sorry if this happened to you. But this is that energy that that old person still has with them. They have not learned their lesson. They just miss you. That's all. They miss you and they regret, you know, treating you the way that they treated you doesn't mean that they've changed and i mean i'm just going to be honest with you for the people who are hoping and praying for their ex to come back they're coming do they mean you any good i don't know and honey if you think that somebody like let me tell you this they're coming back and i have i feel like you could be tired of waiting for something new to come in and i'm just telling you what i see in the cards is that not only is something new coming in but something true is coming in okay something is that is really going to make you forget everything that has happened to you and me telling you this right now sounds seeing what this person did to you is almost unbelievable that you could forget that this happened to you because this was so painful. But that, just as bad as the old person was, is as, is as good as the new person is going to be, like times 10, okay? In any amount of hurt and pain that you've ever felt in the past, if you can imagine the opposite of that, like all your dreams coming true and all that fantasy stuff, it's real. You know, you get what you you get what you think about. So if you keep pouring into yourself, thinking positively, you know, self-love, self-care, all that stuff, the new person that's coming in is going to treat you exactly how you treat yourself. So if you've healed and you're treating yourself like the queen of wands that you are, then you're going to get, ex look, I mean... Release this person because I have felt like I had to I had to say that spill real quick. I had to go into that spill because there's some people who are here who have already released their ex and they're just playing the waiting game. And even in, with that group of people who are waiting, there are some who are thinking about going back, and there's some who are like, no, I'm just going to wait. They're waiting peacefully and they're waiting patiently. But to the people who are thinking that. Yeah, I'm done with them, but you know, if they want to come in for one midnight rendezvous, I'm telling you that one time is going to set you back so far. It really is. I'm not saying this person is not going to come in, but I'm telling you it's going to delay it. Okay. Um, the time has come to clear your energy. It is time to let that go because this person, this king of wands is trying to get into you. It's trying, they're trying to get into you. Okay. They're trying to come in. Okay. Look at that. It can't be no more clear. Uh, codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. I feel like somebody has an urge to go to the past because it's familiar. And this is why I explained that whole codependency situation as I did. If you've been watching the whole reading, um, that's real. It's toxic. You know, you get in toxic relationships and we always call the person who is hurting you toxic. Yeah, they're toxic. But the fact that you are experiencing that for so long means you're just as toxic too. Okay. We attract um, who we are, we retract our reflection, you know, we mirror people. 
So you have something in you that is toxic too. And that's why it's, that's why this energy is so important. And a lot of you are in this energy of doing some soul searching, researching toxic relationships. How do I heal from a toxic relationship? How do I heal codependency? You know, you have to figure out what it is inside of you that attracts those type of people. And, but best believe you can heal yourself and do all of that right before you're about to get your reward, right before you're about to get your blessing, that old person will come back every single time. And that's the universe testing you and asking you, you know, like saying, are you ready? Cause I'm about to, you know, I'm about to wow you, but I want to see, are you ready? Are you going to go back to this old person? So, and for the people who are waiting, um, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, okay? So the new love is coming. You just got to get a little bit more positive. You have to raise your vibration. Um, it's time to elevate. Do do all that good stuff. And um, yeah, so that's what I have for you guys. I didn't mean for it to be a 30-minute love reading today, but that is what I have. Um, I hope you got something out of this. If this is your situation and you want to talk about it, leave me a comment, okay? Because I've been there before. You know, talk to me. Don't go back to the old person, okay? Um, yeah, check out all my other channels as well, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.